Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jenny, and today we're going to have our first ever math read aloud. And the read aloud for today is I'm Trying to Love Matt. This is the second book of I'm Trying to Love Spider. So I hope you saw that book. So let's begin. Mathematics, in a sense, is logic. Let loose in the field of the imagination. Margaret Wertham, I'm Trying to Love Matt. If you ask me, Matt is not very lovable. Matt, Artemic, lots more Matt, more Matt, even more Matt. Matt homework. So look at this. There's a Matt homework and there's a calculator that is not allowing that person to search in the calculator. That's actually true. You should not search in your Matt homework. Guys, don't do that. Anyway, let's move on. I know I'm not alone here either. Four in ten Americans hate Matt. That's like 40%. Yay. Yeah. Yay, Matt. Boo, Matt. Did you just use Matt to explain how much you don't like it? That's true. Look, 40%, four in ten Americans. See, that's literally Matt. Anyway, let's move on. A space alien. What do you know about Matt? Well, Matt is understood all over the earth, no matter what language people speak. 5 plus 12 is 17. True. Except you're not from Earth. No, nope, but thankfully scientists sent Matt out to space. Scientists took example of life on Earth, things like language, music, and math, and put them onto golden records. Binary, addition, fractions, multiplication. Matt went on the golden records. The golden record went on space probes and sent it into deep space for curious aliens like me to find. Golden records went to aboard Voyager spacecrafts. They sent you Matt? No wonder aliens don't come visit. They should have sent cookies. What are cookies? I'll make you some. They're so much better than Matt. Um, they're mostly the same, but anyway, let's move on. Now let's see, I just need two and a half cups of flour, three four cup of sugar, three four cup of brown sugar. Guys, do you understand what's going on? This uses mat. Recipes uses mat. See? Two and a half, three four, three four, see? One cup of butter. Hmm, looks like I need two of these to equal a cup. Wait, Piggy is just a bunch of mat, isn't it? Whoa. See, I told you. In fact, this whole recipe is basically a word problem. Fractions, temperature, time, conversions, chocolate. Chocolate? How is chocolate a um, math problem or something? Anyway, let's move on. But isn't that a good thing? Without those measurements and fractions, what would you end up with? A burnt pile of mush. I guess you have a point. Okay, you see this math problem here? 785 times 5. I'm going to try to love it. Maybe if I stare at it and think about cookies. That uh, might not work. Nope, I'm already bored. What if I jazz it up with some extra numbers and add some of these symbols? Whoops, you got a little carried away. This is way too much math. Can we shake the book and make some numbers fall out? Just hold it tight and give a few good shakes. Shake, shake, shake. I shaked it. Phew, thanks. Math is just so boring. It's not like you can dance to it. Actually, you can. Music has a lot of math in it. Time signature tells you how many beats in a bar. One bar. No value for each beat. Quarter note, one by four note, or one beat equals four beats. Whole number, four by four note, or four beats. Wow, this is a lot of wonderful math. Pythagoras, ancient Greek smart dude. In fact, it was a mathematician who discovered that different lengths of string produce different musical sounds. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I can't believe a mathematician created music. That's like uh, so good. I mean, like he didn't create music, like he created instruments. And also, music does have some math. So this is amazing. Let's move on. Because of his math, you are able to make the guitars you have today. Welp, 
Thanks for ruining music for me. Now all I hear are numbers. I think you're missing the point. Math isn't all about numbers. Arithmetic, another word for math with numbers, is super helpful. But it's only one part of math. Math is also about exploring, finding new ways to get to places, and helping you find your way back. For centuries, sailors navigated using the stars, special measurement tools, and lots of math. Chronometer, sextant. Modern explorers calculate how much force and fuel is needed to get a rocket past your atmosphere and out into space. Take that, gravity! Hey, look, the fire of the rocket is actually the it's numbers, and the ocean for the boat is numbers. Cool. Let's move on. Speaking of exploring, you barely checked out Earth. We have lots of beautiful things to see. Math is here in your nature too. Math is all about finding shapes and patterns. Symmetry, where are two or more parts that match each other. Fractal, a special pattern made up of smaller copies of itself. Awesome. The golden radio is the golden radio is um for the shell of this beautiful snail. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, no, you don't. You're making it all about math again. Now it's my turn to teach you something. Introducing its greatest invention, pizza. That does look interesting. How big is that thing? Oh, that's easy. It's, um, wait, how do you measure this thing? I know, and the answer is easy as pi. Pi represents a number. It's a super long number. So you usually shorten it into 3.14. This pi, not this pi. It's a sort of a cheat code to figure out the size of a circle. Pi times diameter equals circumference. Pi is also what's called an irrational number, which means it goes on forever and never repeats, like this. 3.14159265358979. Whoa, that's long. Oh my gosh, it continues forever, literally. Look at this. Well, that was unexpected. I never thought I'd say this, but this is too much pi for me. Yeah, it is. That's an easy fix. Just grab the book and shake off all this pie off the page. Shake, 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 shake. Phew, that's better. I'll admit, some of these math stuff is cool. I'm okay. But math can still be a l pretty frustrating. Like, how does only one right answer? That's true. But it also makes what math so helpful. Math gives us a set of rules everyone can agree on. So we know how far to travel to get to places, 10 miles. How fast we're moving on our way, speed limit, 5 mi miles per hour, 2 hours, equals 10 miles. And how much things cost when we get there, 4.50 plus 2.00 equals 6.50. Well, I'm ready to test that out. You know, math is a part of so many things I already love. I guess I don't need to try to love it at all. It turns out I already do. Hey, look at that. The old Greek dude is um, literally having ice cream and playing a guitar with shades. And the beautiful little alien. How is the alien doing that? The alien is literally putting the straw through his space L helmet. I thought nothing can go past that. I know, right? It's so crazy. And look, there's a lot of math stuff here. Look, a half percent off of pies, 50 percent sale. Pizza, large, 14. Medium, 12.50. Small, 10. Ice cream, one scoop, 2.00. Two scoops, 3.00. Sunday, 4.50. Pie, slice, 3.50. Half, 2. Whole, 12. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. But because it's half off of pie, that's amazing. Anyway, let's move on. Great, you love math. My work here is done. Time to head home. Thanks for your help. Where did you say you were from anyway? Planet Homework. Oh my gosh. Yikes. That might be a little weird, but anyway, let's move on. 
Don't worry about your difficulties in mathematics. I can assure you minds are still greater. Albert Einstein. That's nice. I love the two quotes and also this beautiful book about how you should always love math. And that's the end of today's video. Guys, I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel. And also remember that math is everywhere. So always be happy with math. And there's some awesome math facts I want to say to you before we end this video. The number system we use today is over 1000 years old. That's so cool, right? And ancient Egyptians used arithmetic, algebra, and geometry. That's even cool. Binary is a sort of like a math language that only uses zeros and ones. That's super duper cool. So now I'm really going to end this video. So I hope you like this. Please share this video with your friends. Subscribe, hit the notification for more videos like this. And hit that smashing, smashing like button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.